<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna unpack my Halloween stuff and I wanted to show you guys what I have. Um, I already attempted to film this uh, video, but I had to redo it because when I was editing it, I have Priscilla here, she's right here, and she had a little squeaky toy and she was squeaking through the whole entire video. In the beginning I was like, fine, but it went throughout the whole entire video. So it was a little bit of annoying. So I figured you guys wouldn't want to hear that. So I'm going to redo it all over again. And um, I'm not going to go though like I did the first time around. I went through all my tubs and I was showing you and it took way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take out the stuff in the tubs, put it on the counter, and then just really quickly go over and show you what I have in my tubs. And, um, and then uh, I might throw in a little clips here and there. I don't know from... Of Priscilla but anyway I'm um, also a couple weeks ago I went through all my Halloween costumes and I purged some and I donated some and anyway um, I'm gonna also insert that in here as well so let's get started with this video can you guys see I have my little Jason necklace on and I wear it with the Freddy Krueger hand, but they always get tangled, so I just figured I would wear this one today, just by itself. She's right here. She's doing the army crawl. There she is. There's Priscilla. Priscilla, look at the camera, Priscilla. Look at the camera. So I don't have her little squeaky toy with me today, but um, she's gonna be out, so if you guys see things, you know, or hear things, it's gonna be her because I don't want to put her in her little cage to go to sleep. I want her to be out here and enjoy this beautiful day. All right, now let's get started with this video. All right, well, we have a big chest of Halloween costumes that we're throwing away. So I got all the Halloween costumes here that I'm gonna go through. Unfortunately, it was in the garage where it's hot and a lot of them are pretty much done they're gonna be trash like this one here look at Freddy Cougar's face it is done and it's really look at that so that one's gonna be trash look at his hat and the clown hat and all this so I got to go through all these costumes and get rid of some of these costumes and uh, so I'm gonna start purging my Halloween stuff. Oh my God, my platform. These are my platform boots from the 90s. Oh my God. They're a little beat up. I'm gonna take them to go get them fixed, but definitely gonna keep my, my 90s platform boots. I also have some platform shoes that I used to wear. I used to wear a lot of platforms back in the 90s. Look at this, oh my God. And um, as far as costumes go, through the years, we've lent out our costumes. My husband had a collection of masks as well, very expensive masks. So every time we had a Halloween party, it was a tradition. We had a Halloween party every year. We lend the stuff out, and we never got some of the costumes back. And if we did, they were ripped. Some of them were um, stretched. They... Uh, they rip some of my husband's masks. It's through the years, you know, of lending things out. I've learned now not to lend out any costumes. There's some costumes that I wish I still had that were my babies that I had saved when they were little so I could give to them when they had kids. Uh, but I lend them out and I never got them back. And that is just so sad. So, so sad. So this is everything that we have left. Some of the stuff is um, going to be donated. Some of it was trash because, again, there's costumes that you'll see in pictures that I have of all my Halloween parties that you'll see over and over again because I lend them out to a lot of people. And they are torn now, so those will go in the trash. <laughs> my son was uh, on the Scream kick. He had a few Scream costumes. I think there's three Scream costumes. There's, like, three also Darth Vader's that my other boy was obsessed with. So, yeah, that's sad. Sad that um, I see some of these costumes and just reminisce and ah, so sad that I don't have the other costumes that were my babies when they were little. 
but look at this bag here this trick-or-treat bag isn't that cute and then I remember I picked these up but we never used them there's a whole bunch of them so yeah but my platform shoes you guys oh my god my platform boots how funny I'm definitely gonna go send them to get repaired and I'm keeping these so all right this is all our costumes and then I still have like a bunch of accessories in here uh just all kinds of stuff here as well you know just waiting look at my little waiting to see what i'm gonna do with some of this stuff here i'm gonna see if my daughter wants to go through it and see if she wants anything when i was skinny i wore that <laughs> but um yeah, and if she wants some stuff, then I'm going to give it to her. If not, I think I'm going to end up maybe getting rid of most of this stuff. So I'll be donating all these costumes. So yeah, that is my little spiel on it. Okay, so I'm trying to get this video started, but this girl will not stop running and getting all crazy and playing. Look at her. She got me all dirty. Look at this with her dirty paws jumping on me everywhere. Look at this dirty. And I'm trying to get to this stuff here. I'm watching Practical Magic. I have these boxes and those over there. That all came from the storage unit that we have. Um, I still have some boxes inside there in that closet. And I have some in the garage as well. Okay. First thing is I have this little witch candy um broom i've had this oh my god i don't even know for so many years and it has the remote control here i don't have any batteries on in it and it's supposed to you can control it to walk around move around here and um it's very old as you guys can see it's kind of beat up but i'm not gonna get rid of it i've had it since my little my my children were really small so look at her she wants to go outside priscilla you want to fetch Give me your Snoopy. Give me Snoopy. Come here. Give me Snoopy. Give me Snoopy. Give me Snoopy. Ready? Ready? Let it go. Thank you. You want to go fetch? She goes crazy. Look at her. Ready? Go fetch. <laughs> crazy girl. Anyway, so that's what I have right here. This is a, a little witch broom that I have from many years ago. So you guys I went to the 99 cent store I will show you guys um, oh my god the 99 cent store has some really cute stuff so they took out a lot of fall stuff and I picked up these fall stems they have uh, fall leaves and they're beautiful look at that they look like uh, Hobby Lobby quality so I picked up four only they're 99 cents each and then I picked up these are um, flannel back table covers. They're pretty thin. I opened this one up and it's really, really, really thin, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna use them for our family fright night in. And look at how cute this one is. It has bats and pumpkins and this one, I like this one. This one looks nice too. They have another one that is just like these pumpkins and they're big all around and that one looks nice too, but I'm only, I only need two. And then I picked up two of these packs of plastic straws with the pumpkins. They look so cute. I'm going to use these for Family Fright Night in as well. Oh, and one more thing. Look at how cute this one is. This is Happy P Pumpkin Spice Season. Right now, 99 Cent Store has a lot of nice stuff. Just want to throw it out there so you guys can go out there and uh, find your, some, some of this stuff. There's Priscilla, and I have to put up a gate there because if not, she takes off upstairs and gets all crazy. But okay, before I go through those bins, let me show you. You guys, I have right here is my Halloween, my Halloween cabinet where I have a lot of my, more of my little figurines up there. All these cups, all this stuff that we used at um, like i said we used to have christmas party christmas parties we used to have lots of halloween parties every year it was a big old thing everybody already knew everybody would always save the date for that time and yeah these you guys i just found at the thrift store 
I've been going to the thrift store, but I haven't really been finding stuff only here and there. That's why I haven't done a thrift store haul. But these were, I already have these plates. I have four of these. I bought them last year. But these were 75 cents each, and I couldn't pass them up, you guys. Now, here it says it's $1.57, but I went to Walmart last week, and these they have these bowls out again, but they're $2.97 now. So I bought them for 75 cents, and there's five of them here. And I already have, what, four, so I have a total of nine. But I did go to Walmart, and I showed you guys. <laughs> there goes Priscilla. I did go to Walmart, and I did show you guys that they have these guys out again but they cost more this year okay so i took down all the stuff that i had up there um i didn't take all this stuff down here because it's obviously self-explanatory you guys can see it's just the drinking cups that we have they're like chalice looking cups um we've had them forever we have these that are my favorite so i had Five of, six of them already and then I picked up the five at the thrift store so now I have a total of 11 which is perfect um, then I have a couple of these little trays here I used those last last year in my fright night in I don't know if you guys saw that but um, if you did then you've seen them there same thing with these shot glasses and then these I thrifted I showed you guys these already if you saw my um, thrift store haul it's 75 cents they're pottery barn it's a pumpkin and a spiderweb bowl and then um, a jack-o-lantern plate and then I have these here that say I'm here for the booze from Dollar Tree and then these um, all, a lot of these I we picked up at one of those Halloween stores all right so now down here my daughter um, we were talking about scary movies and one of the classics that we never found at the thrift stores or at the stores was Pumpkinhead. Now, I know a lot of people think that this movie's kind of cheesy, but come on. Halloween, Pumpkinhead. So she ordered three on Amazon. She bought one for herself. She bought me one, and she bought my sister one, which is really sweet. And I think she bought them for $4 each. Um, the This candle, I don't even know where I picked this candle up, but I've had it forever. And then I have my Bath & Body Works Frankensteins. If you ever see them at the thrift store, scoop them up because they are very expensive. If you go on eBay or on Amazon to look for them, they are expensive. So, then these are from Hobby Lobby. Um, this guy here I picked up at my grocery store. And then this guy... I don't even know where I got this one. It must have been a, I don't know. I don't know where I got it actually. And then these three guys here are from a store called Rodworks. And I bought these a couple years ago. They're really cute. And then this guy, I don't even know where I got this guy, but I love it. This big old jar here, this candy dish here is from Target. My daughter had bought me this guy, and I love him. He actually goes with my, um, they didn't come together as a set, but I have a little monster that's a wax warmer. I'll show him to you right now. Um, but they kind of look similar, so I always put these together. And then this cat, obviously, is from Walmart. They have it this year as well. And then these three guys are from Dollar Tree. Then these Joanna Parker salt and pepper shakers I picked up at Ross last year. I picked up these two for myself, and then I picked up um, the ghosts for my daughter, and they were $3.99, and they had the mugs, but I didn't get the mugs. Then this guy here um, was from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and then those guys are from Dollar Tree. That is from Michael's, and then um, you guys seen I did this one myself. I have my lights here my candy corn lights and these were thrifted this is all thrifted right here my sister bought me this um, at the thrift store a couple years back these were thrifted as well this guy right here is a wallflower i picked him up for 75 cents it was so cute it's uh, like a frankenstein so i had to get him 
And so I went to Bath and Body Works and I bought the refills for it. And I picked up leaves. Oh, I love leaves. And I believe the other one that I picked up um, is, yeah, Harvest Gathering. I only picked up two of them. All right, and then this guy is also from Bath and Body Works, but I picked this one up um, for, I think it might have been a dollar or 75 cents at the thrift store. And then these candle holders that are the Tales from the Crypt, my hubby had picked up a long time ago at one of those um, Halloween stores. And then this guy is either from Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. And then these are from this year from Dollar Tree. And then you guys know I made this, this right here. So that's what I have in this counter here. Let me show you guys this right here. Um, my daughter bought this for me um, at my aunt's yard sale out there in California. I don't know where she bought it at, but I love it. Okay, let's come over here. Let's start right here. All right, so I have my little, I love this guy, my scarecrow jack-o'-lantern and I love this one too. Now this one I got for a dollar at uh, Goodwill because it was missing the cord and hubby just rewired it and put a cord himself on there and then this pirate, I love it because it's fiber optic. Anything fiber optic I love. This was from, um, I don't think it was Spirit Halloween but it was one of those Halloween stores and then these guys, these blow molds are from Walmart. I picked them up a couple years ago on clearance. Well, they were 50% off, so I got them for five bucks each. And then I bought these at the 99 cent store. These were $1.99. These light up. I don't have batteries in it, but this one's my favorite. And then this one, I've never even opened. I forgot I had it. So, and this one lights up too. Then I have some skulls. And then these are from Dollar Tree. They go outside. A little pumpkin. Um, this black cat that's made out of cardboard, my hubby bought for me last year at Michael's. Here are those little guys that they have at the 99 cent store. I bought these at Walmart. And they have these two and the skeleton guy, but they don't have her. I didn't pick up the skeleton guy. I didn't like it, but yeah, I have these from Walmart. And then I have a DIY on that. I made this one a long time ago. Then I have picked up these lights at Walmart when they were 50% off. These guys are my favorite. So I found these at the thrift store separate times. And then I have found a third, but I didn't pick that one up. But I just love them. They look vintage. I know they're not. They're probably reproductions, but I love them. They're really pretty. And then this guy right here is from uh, Michael's. And these guys are from Michaels as well from many years ago. This little candle holder here is from England. I picked this up in England. And then this hat was thrifted. It's just a little candle holder for a tea light. Same thing with that hand. And then you guys seen this when I thrifted this one. It looks real primitive. I love it. It's a candle holder. And my daughter had bought this for me at Dollar Tree a long time ago. This guy was my latest find and this one I got at Rodworks as well last week and this one was $25.99 but it was 20% off and I love it. I just love it. Love, 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 love. All right, this uh, pumpkin here is from Kirkland's. You guys can see it's from Kirkland's, $16.99. Ugh, it's heavy and it has a spider there this pumpkin um, was from Target and then I don't remember where I picked this up might have got it at the thrift store little jack-o'-lantern here this was my DIY and it finally bit the dust I made this so I'll probably fix it or I'll do something else with it I don't know this is from Rodworks as well and then this guy is from Hobby Lobby. And then I have these guys here that I absolutely love as well. And these are from Michaels. These were from a long time ago. And then these flameless candles, the ghosties, they're from Kmart. I picked these up a long time ago at Kmart. And they have timers on them as well. No, actually these don't have timers. 
I thought they did. And then these two pumpkins are from Dollar Tree. And then these bottles here, my daughter made for me for my birthday two years ago. Because she knows I love homemade stuff. And she knows I like Nightmare Before Christmas. So she made these for me. So I absolutely love them. I think she did a great job. And then this pumpkin is from Michael's as well. And then my Mickey's. These are popcorn buckets from Disneyland. I found these at the thrift store, but I never found the lids. And I kept looking, and I've looked on Amazon and on eBay for lids. Can't find lids for them. But I still didn't want to pass them up. And then this is from Dollar Tree. No, from a 99 cent store. And then this right here is from Walmart. I love it because I like the way the candies look. And this one was $2.44. But I bought that couple years ago and then these guys are from Hobby Lobby so we would always have big big Halloween party it was the thing that we used to do every year and um, everybody would save the date for that we would always do um, costume contests and give trophies out I mean it wasn't awesome but then we have bought these for the following year and we just never made the party so that's when the economy started to go down. So we didn't do the party anymore. So I still have these trophies here. As you guys can see, they look pretty cool. I had picked up these trophies at a store called Party City. And I bought two of these best costumes. One was going to be for, uh, ah, for a girl and for a boy. And then this one was obviously for a woman. The sexiest costume. Look at how pretty she looks. She's a little sexy witch. And then this one, my hubby bought these also um, for the party, but we never used them. And we bought two of these. These are in the box. Maybe we'll use them for Fright Night in. And then these guys here, this one is still in its bag from the store Bombay. I don't know if you guys remember that store. I used to love that store. Uh, it no longer exists, but I love that store. And this is all it is. It's goes on your wine bottle it's a little cape isn't it cute all right last year for fright night in if you guys remember if you saw that video that vlog i was looking for all my trays and i knew i was missing them i knew i wasn't crazy well when we went to the storage we found them so this guy right here if you put batteries and when you go to get candy it opens up and it's it, it talks to you this is from walmart from a long long time ago this hand i don't know where we got it but I love it because it moves around. It just goes like this, you know, when it has the batteries in. A lot of this stuff I had since when my kids were really small. So I don't know where I picked them up. Um, I have these little cauldrons that we use for chips. And probably dip on these. I don't know. I wouldn't put the dip right in here. I would put other stuff in here. Oh, actually, this is for nuts. I would put nuts in here and then chips in here. This year at Target, I bought this witch broom. because she look, It looks pretty awesome. So I got this for $3. She was from this year as well, from Walmart. And she was $10.97. And then these guys here, I've had for a long time. This is a candy dish, and this, you know, grabs your hand when you reach in for candy. And then these guys I bought at... Um, Uh, this I believe was from the like Spirit Halloween that one and this platter here and that one as well they're from Party City not Party City um, it's Spirit Halloween a few years back and then that platter I don't know from Dollar Tree probably and then a couple black plate chargers and then our cauldron here that we have here is that little warmer now this one came from walmart that's why i like this one with that candy um, dish over there because they look like they went together perfectly love it all right let's come over here here is a wreath that i made oh my god so many years ago and it's pretty worn i might end up taking it apart this sign was from dollar tree i have another one as well but i I made this, I glittered it up myself and added like a little 
fly and the spider there and a, a crow, a raven or crow, whatever you want to call them up there. And then I also made this one. I made one for my daughter as well, but with the one that I made for my daughter, I actually made the bat bow that he has on. This one, I didn't do that. All right. Then over here, I just have a bunch of like this stuff from Dollar Tree. You know, just this stuff and candy bags that we didn't use. Um, there's that witch hat seed from Dollar Tree from years ago. And this I picked up at the thrift store because it just looked really vintage. I like it. And then this is from Dollar Tree as well. This was for my coffee bar. I might end up bringing that little cart in here and maybe doing my coffee bar somewhere in here. I don't know. We'll see. Because it's right now my coffee bar is on the counter. And I, I, don't, I don't care for it there. And then I have a little raven. And then this sign here, I'm trying to reach it, right here is from the thrift store. So cute. All right, so let me go to the other side and see what else I have. He wants the snack. All right, wait. Get it. Get the snack, Dodger. Get it, Dodger. Get it. Good boy. It's a little harder for him to hear. He can't hear that as much. <laughs> He's so old now, so that's a good boy. Right here in this box, ugh, I also have, I believe it's the, yep, it's my idea that I'm more, little more book stuff for my altar. Yeah, it is. I have my stuff here for that. All right, you guys. So I also have, I have to pick this up because it's pretty big. But I don't know if you guys can see. It's a big black cat. Lights up and it rotates. The head rotates. So we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot more, you guys. Um, it's most of it is in the storage and so i made a trip with hubby to the storage to go get a lot of this stuff I have, oh it's my chain i'm like what the heck is that it's my chain my jason chain all right so um beetle just just got done so now i'm watching hocus pocus as i'm getting into the mood of this when i was recording this last time it was it was nice and it was funny and i had priscilla and it was really and you could hear i had on um Adam's family and you just that squeaker oh my god so right now I'm just trying to run through everything really quick to show you because I know I have a lot of stuff but um, I was taking my time trying to show you guys things and I was actually taking out of the boxes and stuff in the the bins but I didn't want it to be that long because it was really long so let me bring you guys over here okay so in this one here I have I have a lot of these pumpkins and believe it or not you guys I have so many of these that I even have a lot of boxes in the storage with these just these and I have them in this size I have them in this size you know in black and purple and gold, all these different colors um, and then I have these lanterns that I have picked up at Walmart years ago so I could probably use these just for decor around the house all year long. I don't know why they were in there, but... And I think... I think I showed you guys everything. Oh, you know what? When I did my fall home tour, I didn't show you guys that. You guys see that right there? That is my magnolia wreath. And it's just that one sign that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'll get a close-up of it so you guys can see it. And I was like, when I seen it the other day, I was like, how did I forget that? So I'll show you guys a close-up of it. But um, I'm going to take you guys upstairs to show you the stuff that I have upstairs in my craft room. I also spread it out because I didn't want to bring it all down and then have to, I don't know where things are going to go yet. So, um, but uh, I'm going to take you up there and show you what I have up there. Uh, but let me show you a close-up of that and then I'll move on upstairs. All right, there it is. Can you guys see that?
Can't believe I missed that last time that I did my tour for uh, my fall home tour. It's so pretty. I like it. And I'm making frijoles de la olla with sopes with carnitas. The carnitas are in the oven right now. And this is my, for my sopes that I'm going to make. All right, let's move on upstairs. So I forgot to show you guys this as well. As I'm going up the stairs, I remember to have this here. And this was from this year, um, Kirkland's. And I just put it right here on the side for now. And then this tree was a yard sale find from a couple months back. And I think I paid $3 for it. And then, of course, you guys see my Halloween tree that I made. All right, let me continue to go upstairs. All right, so... This, I think, is the last of it. I, I bought this little Ferris wheel at the thrift store. I believe it was from Target. And, um, yeah, I, I paid a couple bucks for it. And then same thing with this. This was from the thrift store. And this is from the thrift store. And then this is from Crackle Barrel this year. And same thing as this guy here is from Crackle Barrel this year. And this is from Crackle, Crackle Barrel this year. And then this is from Walmart. It's a wax warmer. But um, they don't have this one anymore at Walmart. They have another one, but it's not the same exact face. And then these are from this year as well. Hubby bought me these for my Halloween Village. And the Symphony. And then he bought these for me as well. For, well, we both like the village. So, and then these right here, these clowns. And then these are from Michael's from a few years back. And then these soap dispensers are from Bath and Body Works. And then these are from Michael's from a, I don't know, like maybe four years ago, five years ago. And then I bought this Mickey jack o lantern at the thrift store last week. And it was $1.50. And I couldn't resist. I had to. I just had to. It's so cute. And then these candles, um, I bought them a while ago for $2 each. And I like them because they just remind me of Halloween. And then these guys are for my altar. These are from Dollar Tree. And then this is from the 99 cent store. And I paid $2.99 for those lights. This is also from the 99 cent store. And then Hubby's Raven that he loves so much. That's everything I have here. And then over here, I just have a bunch of stuff for my Halloween tree. Like I have ornaments, feather boa, lights. Um, that's another witch potion. Spells and Potion book that um, you, I bought at one of those Halloween stores. Or Michael's, I think. One of those places. This goes is from Dollar Tree. And um, the Black Roses. This little flag here. This is where my witch is at from 99 cent store. More ornaments. Just all kinds of stuff in here like that. Um, and I think that is everything, you guys, that I have. I do have this little guy that I made for myself. I showed you guys on a tutorial when I made one for my daughter, which she gave to my cousin because my cousin really wanted it. But then I made another one, but this one's for me, and I added the jack-o'-lanterns on that one. It's identical to the one that I made before, but just the jack-o'-lanterns. Then I have, my son has his, uh, his wreath up in his room. I forgot another tub. I had another tub down here, you guys. So I have this witch here that I have had for so many years. My children, I say children, they're all grown adults now. My youngest is going to be 22. But my children were really, really young when I bought this witch. I don't even remember where she's from, but I've had her for so many years, and I will never get rid of her because she reminds me so much of my babies when they were little. Let me put this up here. Then down here, these candy corns here I made into topiaries, but they finally had, they seen better days, and so I took them off and I just kept the candy corns. This one turned a different color up here, but I actually like it. It looks good. 
anyway I have to jazz those up and then I have in here my my little Mickey ghost that I made that I have a DIY on and then in here I have my little pirate Snoopy and my wizard Mickey um, there's also a few signs that I found I forgot to show you guys these signs here let me move this stuff out the way all right so these are from Dollar Tree this year you guys I went looking for um, those little ornaments the um, little truck ornaments that they have and I couldn't find them yet in my Dollar Tree they had taken out a lot of their Christmas ornaments but I didn't find them uh, the little trucks that everybody's hauling right now so but I did find these and I have been looking for these and they finally brought them out so I bought one for myself and one for my daughter stuck right there okay and then I bought I think I showed you guys these already these from Dollar Tree and then this one is hubby's he bought this at Michael's last year and then this is from Michael's as well last year it says happy Halloween then I also have this little guy right here and this one I picked up at the thrift store and it lights up right now you can't see it because it's daytime but it does light up it's really cute do you see how cute these two look together don't they look cute together I just love how they look together they all right I also have these guys here that I picked up at the thrift store uh, I think I bought them last year and I forgot all about them these were $5.99 I don't know where they sold them at, but they were $5.99. But anyways, this was supposedly $5.99. I got them at the thrift store for a dollar each. I got Minnie and I got Mickey, dollar each. He doesn't have the stand, but that's all right. I can make it work somehow. So I love those, those are cute. Sorry if you hear Priscilla barking in the background. Alright, so I found these things too here that I have while I was baking this morning some apple cider donuts. I was going through my stuff and I found this as well. I had bought this at Walmart last year. That goes with that set. And then these guys. Where did I get these guys? Oh, Walmart. These were um, when they had them on the clearance. So I picked up two of these packs. And then one of these right here. At Walmart and this guy right here also I forgot I also have these here these run this table runner this is from Ross and they have it out this year again same thing with the little towel this is a set of two that came like this that's just a regular orange towel and this one so they do have them at Ross this year again and then I have my little banner that I bought at uh, Target. And I have these from the 99 cent store. All this, this, I don't remember where I got this. I've had this for so long. It's a runner. More from Dollar Tree and then this one from Ross. It's a table runner. A witch and now I'm watching uh, witches of Eastwick over here in this corner I'm not gonna take this out you guys I just showing you really quickly I have the rest of my village stuff my Jason lights and then in here I have the other village stuff as well so hubby's still on the hunt for the Michael Myers and the um, Freddy Cougar lights. Hopefully we can find them. We didn't pick them up last time. We should have, but you snooze, you lose. Anyway, that's everything, you guys. I'm so sorry I went so fast. I didn't want it to be long because the other one that I did film was pretty long, so I do apologize that um, I was pretty quick on this one. So that is everything that we have for Halloween. So I will show you guys once I decorate for Halloween every, how everything looks in the house. And if you're interested in seeing uh, the stuff that my husband has in storage when he starts taking it out just let me know in the comments below and i'll have him show you what he has in storage he has a lot more stuff bigger items not like small little things like i do so that video wouldn't be too long
But um, let me know in the comments below if you want him to show you guys when he gets ready to take all his Halloween stuff out. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.